Alright, so I've got a few convex polygons here. Um, and what we can do is we can figure out the sum of the interior angles for each one. So and the interior angles are the, the angles formed when two sides of the polygon come together. They meet at a vertex. So uh, they're the, the angles that are on the inside. And um, there's various geometry problems which you'll need to solve, which will involve knowing uh, what all the angles on the inside of a polygon need to add up to. So it's uh, you can memorize what they all add up to for different um, types of, of polygons, um, or you can use this method to just figure it out on the fly, um, which which I like. You know that's that's cooler to do that. Um, I memorization tends to be less fun, at least for me. So here's a method that if you ever get stuck and you don't remember uh, what all the angles on the inside of a polygon add up to, you can just figure it out. So the way it works is you pick a vertex and then draw all the diagonals coming from it. So the vertex is where two, um, two sides come together at an endpoint, and diagonals are lines that connect um, vertices with non-adjacent vertices. So, um, so let's just pick. So let's start with this pentagon over here, and I'm going to pick this vertex, and I'm going to draw all the diagonals coming from it. So uh, that means I need to connect it to all the uh, vertices that are not adjacent to it. So if I'm looking at this one right here, um, this guy and this guy are adjacent to it. They're the next um, vertices over from it. So I'm not going to connect those. And you can you can think of it. It's it's already connected. They're already connected by the sides of the of the polygon. So, um, so let's so let's connect it to the non-adjacent. So here's one that's non-adjacent. It's not the next one over. Um, and then there's one more vertex that's not adjacent to it. So we st we started with one vertex. We drew all the diagonals, all the legitimate diagonals, coming from it. Um, and that's it for this shape. And once we've done that, we've cut the polygon into non-overlapping triangles. All right. Okay. The last step here is to use logic to do to realize that um, triangles, the angles of a triangle, add up to 180 degrees. So that's just part of the definition of a triangle. Um, triangles, 180 degrees. So if I have three of them. Three triangles inside the shape. That means the interior angles of this polygon will add up to three times 180. Basically, they'll add up to the equivalent of three triangles. So 180 times three is equal to 540 degrees. Um, so the interior angles of a five-sided polygon will add up to a total of 540 degrees. All right, let's do another one. Um, let's do this trapezoid here. Um, get, grab my line. Okay, so just pick a vertex. Um, I don't know. Let's just pick this one. Okay, so I'm going to draw the diagonals to the draw I'll draw all the diagonals that come from this vertex. So all the imaginary lines that um, will connect the this vertex to the other vertices that are not adjacent to it. So um, this is adjacent and this is adjacent. They're the next ones over. So actually there's only one um, diagonal that we can draw from this vertex. Um, so we've cut this polygon into two non-overlapping triangles. A triangle has 180 degrees total um, for its interior angles. So if I've got two triangles, then I've got 180, oops, 180 times two. So um, this polygon will add up to the interior angles of that polygon will add up to 360 degrees. 
Um, let's do this last one. All right, I'm gonna pick this vertex. Um, that other vertex is not adjacent to it, and we've got one more that's not adjacent to it, and those are the only diagonals we can draw. Uh, the other two vertices are adjacent to this one that we picked. So I've got this guy split up into three non-overlapping triangles. Uh, tri the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so the interior angles of this whole polygon will add up to 180 times 3, or 540 degrees.